Hey everyone, what's up? It's Fishing with Austin here. I'm here with my new boat, which I've yet to reveal and, uh, you know, show everyone and give the rundown on. But one thing I wanted to show you guys while I could was to how to replace your Yamaha outboard ignition switch. I kind of started a little bit. Don't mind the stutter. This thing is old, okay? Look how old that is. There's a lot of play in your ignition and you don't want to risk having so much play in your ignition that it doesn't end up cranking up when you're out on the water. You have these old discolored fuses you have rust on whatever that is I, I forgot the name of it i mean the inside of this connector looks pretty good for this boat to be as old as it is and then you have these bad boys right here so pretty much what you do is you unbolt it here unbolt it pull it out and there's some snaps right here all you do is you press down on these and you pull it out with these these kind of threw me for a loop because sometimes people uh they'll uh heat shrink them and these are fuses I believe and all you do is you just plug and play you pull these out and you put in the new ones okay and if you order the right part number which you know I put into your model make a model of my boat what kind of boat it was the 1800 FF and then you uh, you simply unplug this to look for the part you want to take a picture of that okay this is what i did i took a picture of this and made sure it had three on top three in the middle and two on the bottom and you can easily go on amazon or on google and uh just pretty much mix and match and line up to everything that you need you know and you can also compare them i mean look at these they're pretty much the same so if, if these are the same you have the same plugins and you have these fuses then you're pretty much good to go to buy the part um retail this was like i don't know like 80 bucks i found it for like 20 or 30 bucks and it got to me pretty quick so let me get this boat really quick i got everything plugged in it's good to go right here i'm gonna tape these up later with electrical tape but yeah you just uh insert the fuses and everything in there bolt it in the uh my only complaint is the old one is a little thinner than the new one the new one, the top one's lined up just barely. I gotta drill holes for the uh, the bottom. But other than that, it works pretty fra flawless, flawless. <laughs> and uh, the key is very stiff, very tight, good to go. Let me pull the key out. That's what the key should look like. My old key does not fit in this new key slot. So there you go. And if it ever gets loose, there's a nut you can tighten. That's also another thing with this old one. It got so old that uh, you can see that he was stripping the nut pretty much, trying to tighten it. And also, uh, you can see that it cracked right there. Sometimes condensation and water and stuff will get in there and the water will expand and it'll crack. So that's also one thing you gotta look out for. You know, when you when you think you need to replace your ignition switch, right there, boom. Crack in the, uh, in the ignition, so. Yeah, it's pretty tight now, good to go. Got the uh, emergency stop plugged in, give her a go. Good to go. It's easy as that. It's just plug and play. If you can figure out how many is on here, what your fuses look like, and how similar these two look. Just type in Yamaha OEM parts, Yamaha ignition switch, blah, 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 and you can find it. Same thing. One just has Yamaha on them, and that's the difference between saving 40 or $50. So there you go. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I just figured I'd show everyone else this while I was... Uh, browsing on YouTube I couldn't really find what I was looking for and you know seeing these kind of threw me for a loop I'm like what do I even do with these but apparently you just, you just pull them out and plug them back in you know uh, this will go into one of these and these will go into this and you just match up the wires good to go so that's it um, I'll have a boat review coming for you guys later on but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, you know stay tuned for more boat reviews boat repairs and all that good stuff so thanks for watching